This video will show the complete process of creating a file in Fronimo and show you how quickly it can be done. First thing is to start with an already existing file because all your formatting will be uh, there and you won't have to set a whole bunch of things. So in this case I'm 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 uh, editing a prelude from Rattel's Hortus uh, Musicus Musicalis Novus and uh, I'm going to be editing Prelude 28 so I'm I already edited 26 so I can start with that and save it as Prelude 28. and then change the title and uh, delete everything except the first uh, everything except the first uh, bar. So now I look through here and I see if there's any there's nothing I really have to do. This bar shows you what the tuning is, but in this case the tuning is obvious. So I can delete this and I don't need the little separator here. Uh, okay, so I can uh, check the bar numbers and it should start with zero unless you had one of these little preliminary bars or a pickup bar in which case you'd set it to minus one or minus two depending. So I'm ready to roll here. I see I already have a bar here so I can start there. So I use the uh, number pad and the arrows and I mainly use uh, and I use uh, one is a whole note, two is half note, three is a quarter note, four is an eighth note, five sixteenth, and six is thirty-two, etc. So I start with what looks like a bunch of five, six, eight, but I'm guessing that that's a misprint because uh, the bars in this particular uh, manuscript are very regular and there should be exactly the right number of uh, notes in the bar. So I'm going to make this 8 and I'm hitting right arrow after each thing and then I'm hitting it twice when I get to the end of a bar and hit return over here on the on the number pad or enter I guess it is and then five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. And then there's a double bar here, so I stick that one in. And I'm putting in all of the rhythms to start with. And that makes it a lot easier. to put everything in. And that's the end of the piece. So now if on this if you do control R it it uh, makes all the the beams and then you could you you set it I use control V to to verify to verify the uh, lengths and that shows there's no problem. 
I use Control F to toggle between single line and whole page view. Now, you can see that this is way too widely spaced, so I can change the spacings. I had three centimeters between, and I can put it at 1.5 and make it 1.5 centimeters at the top and 100 note spacing. If I hit OK, all of a sudden it's all on one page. So now I see the spacing was too narrow, so now I can make it 2.5. And see how that goes. That, that looks pretty reasonable. Maybe I can do a little bit more at the top. Make it 20. So now, what we have here is we have the entire skeleton of the piece. So everything I put in is going to follow that skeleton. And if I make a mistake, it's obvious. If I put something in the wrong place, it becomes obvious in a hurry. So now, with my left hand, I'm going to put in the notes. And my right, right hand, I'm going to move the cursor around. So Okay, so that's all the notes. Now I'm going to go through and do two things at once. I'm going to proofread it, and I'm going to put in the uh, right hand fingering notations, the dots. So I hit F3 in Pronimo, click on fingering, go in and put the dots. And it's pretty obvious where I've made a mistake if I have. Usually I have.
Now that says it's a D, but it's supposed to be a B, so I just correct that along the way. Actually, there isn't a dot in the original on that. Okay, so here comes the fun part. I get to play it. And first I cancel this so I don't leave dots all over the place. Then I just play it, see what it comes out as. That may be a little too fast. Let's, let's slow it down a little bit. Maybe just a little. follow along here in the source. And that was it. I didn't hear much that was wrong with that, but just to make sure, I'm going to slow it down just a little more because we got a lot of fast notes in there. And I just want to listen to it one more time, make sure I got everything. And again. So far, so good. Looks good, so that's that's a done deal. I save it, Control S for save, and it's done.